Hi, this is Gary. On today's episode of MacMos Now, let's take a look at how to video podcast. While Apple treats audio and video podcasting in much the same way for the end user, you get them through iTunes and you can watch them or listen to them on your iPod and iPhone. But if you're producing them, video podcasting is a very different thing. Let's go and take a brief look at how to do all the different things you need to do to produce a video podcast. Now, if you're doing a video podcast, of course, you're going to have to record video. You can do this through a video camera in two ways. One way is to record directly onto the tape or hard drive of the video camera. The other way is to record through the camera onto your computer through a FireWire interface. To do that, you're going to need a piece of software on your computer to record the video. You can use iMovie if you like, or a more complex piece of software is Final Cut. Both of these, of course, will allow you to edit as well. I use a specialty piece of software called Wirecast from Vara Software that allows me to record the video and add things like these titles if I want during the recording. Then later on I take it into iMovie for editing. So then you have to take your raw video and edit it down. You can do that in all those different programs, but no matter what you use, you're going to make sure you export your final product into a format that could be used on the iPod. Now for instance in iMovie, we've got right here a different uh, set of settings when you just say share and export and you have tiny, mobile, medium, and large. Um, you can go ahead and select medium which will optimize it for iPod. And even though it says not for iPhone, it is actually optimized for iPhone as well and will play back on iPhones. It's just not optimized for mobile playback on iPhones. And that same thing will work on Apple TV, on computers, and uh, also on YouTube, another place you may want to upload your video podcast to. Now, once you have your video, you want to go ahead and create a podcast blog in much the same way as I suggested in the previous episode of MacMost for audio podcasts. Now, for video podcasts, you have to worry about where to store the video because these files are going to be pretty large. And if you store them on a regular web host, you can get hit with big bandwidth charges. One place I love to use is Blip TV. So at blip.tv, you can host your video and do it for free or rather inexpensively depending upon what you choose. And also, it can create the blog for the podcast automatically, including an RSS feed that you can send right to iTunes. So check them out. The other places you may want to host your video, of course, are YouTube, but you can't host a podcast there. You can only host a web video there. But there are plenty of other sites that you can do it to as well. So you want to shop around and find out what works best for you. Once you've got that done, you want to submit to iTunes. iTunes is definitely the number one place where people find podcasts. So you want to sign into your iTunes account, add a podcast, submit your RSS feed, and then have iTunes pick it up. At this point, you're also going to make sure you have really nice icons and things that look good compared to the other podcasts in your category in iTunes. Now, I'll be doing an episode later this week on some of my secrets of video podcasting for tips once you get going. I'll also be attending the New Media Expo in Vegas this week. So if you're there, look for me. Or you can follow my activities at the conference at my Twitter account. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Music